Yeah, so when I got when I got injured at Bradford, uh, that was that was that was tough. The injury was tough. I couldn't support Nat and the kids, and things got got really tough. You know, we we ended up losing our house because of, of what happened, and and I just did the typical bloke thing of what all blokes do when they when they were struggling. Uh, I kept it to myself for months and months and months, and I didn't tell anyone until you know I got onto onto a park in my car and I, I was going to take my own life and I just I just knew as soon as my mum and dad said come on you need to tell us what's going on I just knew it was it was time to to speak and and I finally did that and that was speaking to my mum and dad and opening up and admitting that he had a problem was tough but I knew it had to be done for yeah. Nat's sake and the kids sake and and I finally opened up to him <clears> and, I, and I told him about the suicidal thoughts, I told them about the depression that I was suffering because not only did I lose my job, I lost my career, but we, we lost our house mm. and that was a tough bit. It was not being able to support my family yeah. and as soon as we lost the house and that was it. I was going to take my own life now for some reason I didn't, whether it was my kids and my, you you and Lee, whether it was my mum and dad who came to me, I'd, I couldn't. I couldn't tell you because I was a totally different person in a totally different mindset but for some reason I didn't do it and it was the best decision I'd, I've ever done and <coughs> you know I, I remember a couple of days had passed after I'd come home from that car park and I remember my mum and dad and, and Nat walking into the, the front room and just saying listen there's something up with you, you need to speak yeah. and that was my turning point <coughs> that's when I opened up and told them about the suicidal thoughts how I felt like I'd let them all down but it was very hard to do. It's hard for men to speak about how they're feeling, but it was, it was the best thing I've ever done. It's like you say, when it can come from a rugby player, it was supposed to be the toughest of the tough, and you know, to this, there's no, there's no shame in saying how you feel and, and, and letting it out, and you know, and seek help.